it's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. The nation's favourite station, the big one. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about, the one that everyone is on. It's me, Scotty McClure. I've just joined you this morning for a short time for a short promotional video for tonight's programme at 10 o'clock sharp. So, you can see Scotty McClure, 10 o'clock sharp tonight, the Sunday night. And we shall be live on Facebook Live. Now, spend your day getting this message out to every single one of your Facebook followers. It's very, very important that we build and build and build and build an audience. Because this is the world's top talk show. Scotty McClue is widely regarded, although I say it myself, as the world's top broadcaster. That's never in doubt. I have never had anybody disagree with that. So there you are. So the world's top broadcaster coming together on the world's top broadcast platform, Facebook Live. You cannot beat it. What a fabulous, fabulous combination. So I hope you will enjoy that. And please let me know. We have instant feedback. There's Pamela McAloon saying good morning. Scotty, good morning to you, Pamela. Chris Max watching. A very fine fellow. I'm just going to give us a little bit of light adjustment. How's that? Is that actually better? There we go. People always talking about the lighting. So uh, it's Scotty McClue. That's me. If you've never ever heard of me, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e. That's the Scotty. The McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, l, u, e. And the combination of Scotty McClue and Facebook Live is regarded as the new television. Think about it. Think about your television. Think how fed up you are with it all. I see so many Facebook posts. A young lady last night. I'm bored. I think I'll watch a movie. What movie should I watch? Of course, War Horse is a wonderful movie on a Saturday night. But let us know what movie you would watch. We'll perhaps discuss that. Dave Shearer's watching in Australia. One of our finest broadcasters and programmers in the world. And he is in Australia there. Dave Shearer, dinky do, he's in Adelaide, as far as I know. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists, is watching right now. How tremendous is that? George Raffin's watching. Dinky do, George, morning captain, he says, and sends me a kiss. I send you a kiss back, George. Fantastic stuff, and a good manly handshake. George, I've got a bone to pick with you, by the way. I uh, popped up on Friday night. I'd been out speaking at a dinner. And I popped up on Friday night in my best bib and tucker. Now, you are careful with that one. And um, what was amazing was uh, you said, oh, you're getting your money's worth out of that jacket. You've never seen me wear that jacket before. That's another jacket. Compare that with the week before the Sunday night program, and you will sit there with your head in your hands and think, dearie, 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 dearie me. Gregory, Scotty, get your Hector Hooter over to America. They're going nuts for the Dinky Dooster himself. The world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClue. Semwa! You'll never guess what happened this week. I um, got an invitation to join what seems like a who's who of the finest radio talent in the world. I can't make it because I'm working, but... How fantastic would that have been? And uh, I did say to the gentleman, sometimes, do you ever feel you're working your life away? But if you enjoy what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And as I'm always saying, I get a little bit fed up when you hear people going, you'll never guess how hard I work. I think, ah, away you go. I've never done a hand. Done. So there you are. Well, you can judge that for yourself. David Hammond, one of our other very fine broadcasters, is watching. David Hammond, Dinky Doo, used to do the 80s show on L107 Radio. And what a show that was. Fantastic. So, David Hammond, I hope you're doing the 80s show somewhere else. Fantastic. Scotty, can you say get well soon to Monty, please, says Pamela. Of course I can, Pamela. Not a problem. Michael Collar's watching. Dinky do to you, Michael. Lovely to hear from you. Mike Lawrence is watching. Sid Harris is watching. Good morning, Scotty, says Sid. And I say to Sid, good morning to you, Sid. Now, 
Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of you see the show. That is tremendous. As I say, we're well up to 100,000 people having watched the shows. We're on show number 20. And what I've done last week, I set up on the advice of your good selves, no less, a GoFundMe account. Because how do we improve the program? How does Scotty McClure manage to pay for bits of equipment and what have you? And I would like to get moving forward. So I've set up GoFundMe because PayPal on the Scotty McClure website, which 10 million people have visited, has a, a not is not everyone's method of payment. So I've set up GoFundMe. So if you go to www.gofundme and put in the Scotty McClue show, you'll see we've already raised uh, a substantial amount of money. Now, the bar is set quite high. We're looking at £5 million. Some of you will balk at that. Please don't, right? There is no need to balk at that because that's not a lot commercially. And what I'm looking at is the possible purchase of appropriate radio and media assets should they become available. Now, you don't have to give five million, so again, panic ye not. What I would say to you though, if everyone gave five pounds, we would reach our total today, right? If everyone gave five pounds, we'd reach our total today. So think back and say, I've been watching Scotty McClue for 25 years. I've been listening to Scotty McClue for 25 years. I've been reading about Scotty McClue in the national press for 25 years. I've seen Scotty McClue on national television for 25 years. My jubilee year, right? 36,000 hours of unscripted live broadcasting delivered straight to your homes. So, would you say I'm worth a fiver from you? And if that say, I mean, some people have been incredibly generous. I won't embarrass you by saying just the amounts that we've received. It's fantastic. We've got 205 pounds already when I last checked. So uh, what I would say to you is, um, if you fancy sticking a fiver in, go to GoFundMe, put in the Scotty McClue show, get your card out your bag and pop in a fiver. Now, if everyone in Scotland gave a pound, one pound, we would reach our target today. So if everyone in Scotland who's listening wants to pop in a quid, then we will reach our target today. If you want to give 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, a million pounds, whatever you think you can spare to fund Scotty McClue and say, this man has been on many, many radio stations, many television stations. He's never put a foot wrong. I like him. He is our greatest living talent, and I will back him. That's the thing. Now, do not rush into this. If you're a bit of a hmm, 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 a doubting Thomas. Remember doubting Thomas that Jesus Christ said, Put your hands in the holes on my side and you will believe that I am the one who was crucified. Uh, so there you are, Doubting Thomas, one of the disciples. So if you're a Doubting Thomas, of which you're perfectly entitled to be, go on to Facebook, go on to GoFundMe, watch the video, right? There's a video, it takes about half an hour. Watch the video and then make a decision as to what you're going to give to me, Scotty McClue, right? But whatever you give, how great or how small, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is appreciated, it will be cherished, and it will be well looked after. So there you go. So go fund me, Scotty McClue. Anyway, also you've got PayPal. If you prefer PayPal, you can go to www.scotty-mcclue.com and pop something into PayPal. That would be great. Now then, good morning, Scotty, says Frank McElroy. Good morning, Scotty boy, says Mark Cruden. Fiona Summers is watching. Dinky do to you, Fiona. Morning, Scotty, says Sid. Can you say hello to Louisa, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Of course I can. Hello, Louisa. 
Lovely to be with all you guys. It made me laugh because somebody said, Ha ha, he's telling us he's global. Just then, people pop up from Australia with a Dave Shearer there, one of the greatest broadcasters and programmers on the planet. And he's in Adelaide, in Australia. We've had people on from Perth and West Australia. We have people on from Sydney. We have people on from India, Africa, Canada, America. And uh, it's fantastic. So there you are. Morning, Scotty, this is Frank McElroy. I say good morning to you, Frank. Fantastic. Paul Francis Carroll has shared the video. And boy, do we appreciate that. Paul Gordon Cobain's watching. Cobain or Coban, you tell me how you'd like me to say it, Paul Gordon, and I shall do that. So there, sorry, I've just shaken the camera there. I do beg your pardon. I forget that. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to forget that you're not on radio, that you're actually on television. And, uh, you know, that's the other side of it, of course. Now, you can do me a favour. If you really, really, really are strapped for cash and can't afford a quid, get yourselves on to GoFundMe, put in the Scotty McClue show, and share it. Everybody can share, even those of you who are not afraid of work. So all I would say is share, 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 share. If you have a Twitter account, go on and follow Scotty McClure. If you're on Google+, Plus, go on. And the big one, put into your search engine, your Google bar or whatever your search engine is, and pop in Scotty McClure YouTube channel, and you will be treated to 180 fabulous, fabulous treats. So there, remember, this is my year of jubilee, 25 years of broadcasting Scotty McClure. Amen, Padre, says Paul Francis Carroll. Kiri Elizong, I say to you. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sanctus. Uh, amen. So there we are. And also, good morning, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. Have a nice cuppa for your shakes and seize the day. The shakes weren't mine, thank goodness, Frank. I shook the camera. I tapped my foot with excitement. Sometimes one finds that, um, you you know, when you're, you're talking away, your energy goes somewhere else and it went into my foot. You'll see people sometimes uh, shaking their leg at meetings and stuff. They sit vibrating their leg and that sort of stuff. What's your opinion on Donald Trump, said Sid Harris? Sid, the truth of it is we haven't had him long enough there to see what he's actually going to do. Obviously, the man's full of big talk, and uh, that's fine. One or two of us like the big talk, so that's not a problem. But I, I couldn't actually pass an opinion till I see what's going on. The only thing is, I hope he's not inconveniencing people. And um, we did a poll, I can't be President of the United States because I'm not an American citizen, but we did do a poll at the time. And uh, we had Hillary, we had Donald, and we had Scotty McClue. And Scotty McClue polled 76%. So had things been different, Scotty McClue may have you been your president in America. I may have been Mr. President. Obviously, I prefer to be called Scotty, but you could call me Mr. President Scotty. Uh, so there you are. So I can't really put an opinion out in Donald Trump till we see how he works. But I think with Hillary, we could have predicted what we would get, um, the sort of old Clinton style of politics. So, um, you know, Donald Trump's a, an interesting one to watch. That's what I will say. And uh, keep your calls coming in. Of course, tonight we're on Skype. Make a note of this, Scotty.McClue. And you can Skype in and contribute to the program. Ron Stewart says, would you consider changing the start time from 10 p.m. to 9 p.m. to get more people to the family, Scotty? Now, what makes you think that would bring more people to the family, Ron? I have to find out your thinking. When I was on uh, Scott FM radio and the management and the wisdom decided he's very successful at night, he's so successful at night, should we try him during the day? And I was slightly apprehensive because the national press were all saying, oh, well, if McClure can pull off the same trick he's pulled off at night during the day, oh, Scott FM is in clover. Uh, what happened? 
we pulled it off. There we are. So there we go. And then uh, new people bought the station, neutered it, and I lost out for all my trouble. Nevertheless, not a problem. But uh, the mornings were very, very successful because it doubled the audience. So there you go. Tapping your foot after watching an episode of Thing Me Jig, says Frank McElroy. Absolutely. Have you ever heard this one, Frank? Apple dumplings, apple dumplings, I could eat them every day. Apple dumplings, apple dumplings, what a lot I'd put away. If you give me any other food, I'm full of groans and grumblings. But I don't complain, I'm as right as rain. With good old apple dumplings. There you go, Frank, a wee song for you on uh, a Sunday morning. That could go to number one. Fantastic stuff. So, all of you, quick reminder, Scotty McClue tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, live here, right on Facebook Live. Plan your day around it. Television's off at 10. Radio's off. Music out. iPods out. All the rest of it. Tablets on, cameras on, PCs on, flat screen tellies on if you're receiving Scotty McClue on Facebook Live. But the most important thing you can do with your wonderful life today is tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue Live just for you on Facebook Live at 10. We will then discuss changing program times, if we think it would be more suitable, because <clears throat> it's very interesting. I've popped up a couple of times this week just on an ad hoc basis. I came up on Wednesday night to do um, an explanation video for GoFundMe. So if you've gone to GoFundMe and put in the Scotty McClure show, then up I will pop. And if you can stick in a pound, a fiver, a million pounds, whatever suits you whatever you're comfortable with but please actually do it say yeah i can give scotty a pound i can get my card give scotty a pound actually do it so we can get off and running we've had fabulously generous people on already so we're only a week old with the gofundme account so let's get off and running today everybody cards out debit cards credit cards go fund me that's the website, and pop in the Scotty McClue Show, and we'll get started. If you're a Doubting Thomas, take time at GoFundMe to watch the video. I'm sitting with a blue jumper and a blue shirt, which is open at the neck. I do apologise for my informal approach, but all the information and knowledge and advice is there. You still get a wee soul going, what are, we, what are we funding for, Scotty? All that kind of idea. But get on to GoFundMe. Watch the video. Watch the videos on Facebook. Share the videos on Facebook. And we're looking at media assets. So there you are. Thank you, Scotty, for the song. I'll see you at 10 o'clock hours tonight. TTFN, says Frank McElroy. Great pleasure, Frank. A lovely wee song, that. And uh, I'd rather uh, be there at 10 p.m., Scotty, says Ron Stewart. Right, Ron, well, we'll keep it 10 p.m. just now. But what I was going to say, because I've popped up, I also did a show, well, not a show really, just really a pop-up, an ad hoc pop-up. On Friday night, I'd been out speaking at a dinner, and I had my best bib and tucker on, careful with that one. And um, a lady was arguing with me that it's a burgundy bow tie. I would have said it's aubergine. But please, watch the video and tell me what colour you think Scotty's bow tie is. I think that's important. Scotty, you would be great and still game, mate. What do you think, says Edward McAleer? Well, I would need to be invited to join the group at Still Game. But I'm quite sure I could sit in the clansmen and tack the mints out of the crowd of them, you know. So there you are. Uh, Bobby, Bobby's there, our Bobby, at the clansmen. And I think I could uh, have a laugh with Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Uh, have the Elgin's been in? Are the Elgin's coming in, Bobby? What's happening? Uh, so we might make a cameo appearance if invited. So if you're watching, all you still gamers, uh, put the suggestion in. Can Scotty McClue join you for one night? Uh, there you are. Are you restricted on Facebook for an hour? Or maybe you could do two or three hours as George Raffin. We could do as long as you like, George, but I don't want people to get 
too fed up, um, you know, with seeing me all the time. And uh, had somebody last week saying, oh, your voice is your big asset. I'm not so sure about your appearance. But I thought, that's what I look like. I told you the story when I was about to read the news on ITV. And the boss was in for a chit-chat, a wee chinwag. Uh, he was chewing the fat with me. And he said, here, I've got to go. You've only got 30 seconds and you're on. And, of course, on television, bang, the big lights come on. And off you go. So I had all my news bulletin in front of me and I said to him, do I look okay? And he shouted, well, that's what you look like. I thought it was a wee bit cruel at first, but in actual fact, he was right. That's what I looked like. So, you know, unless you're going to change something, what was I going to do? Was I going to swap my face around? Uh, so there you are. Wonderful, wonderful. No, so we're not restricted, George, is the truth of it. We could be on as long as you like. The only thing is, I like to upload the uh, program to uh, YouTube. And um, YouTube, it's quite nice if it's an hour. It uploads nice and easy, but I'm sure we could do longer. There's Alex Robertson watching, one of our finest young actors. Hi, Alex. Dinky do to you. I hope you are well. I know you've had uh, a bit of a health challenge and uh, you've no doubt come through it because you are a fighter. So, George, in answer, no, we're not restricted. Roddy Martin, the great Roddy Martin, is watching Dinky Do Roddy. Lovely to hear from you. Brian Gillen's watching Dinky Do Brian, fine fellow. And uh, so there is no restriction, but all I ask is that you share, share, share. But let's make this a day of donation to Scotty McClue. A pound or a fiver, you decide. Fifty quid or a hundred, you decide. 10,000, half a million, you decide a million pounds. It's entirely up to you. You will not be chastised by me if you pop in a million quid. But, as I say, if everybody in Scotland gave one pound, we'd have our total immediately. We'd have it by midday. If everybody gave a pound now, we'd have our total by midday. How amazing that is. It might take a while, though. Not a problem. But you will do it, guys. I know you will. And also, it's great fun watching the uh, total go up. So keep checking. Go fund me. Scotty McClue Show. The Scotty McClue Show. Uh, George Raffin has just shared the video. I thank you for that, George. Very much appreciated. Shared. Good man. Good man, says George Raffin. George, I know there was a tiny little uh, live thing popped up yesterday and you were going, what's all this about? But um, it was just me trying something out. So there you are. You've got to try things out. It's wonderful. And Facebook Live is such a tremendous uh, asset to the world. And uh, I would say this is the new television. It makes me say for the first time in my life, I wish I was uh, even younger than I am because uh, then we could have... Um, um, done a lot more work. There's so many things to do in life. And of course, Scotty McClue had no computers when he started. So everything was off the top of my head. So all the knowledge had to be acquired through books, through asking people that you could trust, through going to libraries, through watching um, movies and news and things like that. That's where all my huge, huge bank of knowledge came from. And I only have an IQ of 160, I think it's 163 or 164 at the last count. Uh, so there you are. So I have to sort of, um, I have to work away at it, but that's not a problem. Right, um, time for me to push off. What is the time actually? It's quite difficult to see through. Oh yes, coming up. We've got, uh, we've still got six minutes. Uh, remember you can Skype the program tonight, of course. Very, very important. Get on to Skype, download your Skype. Put in scotty.mcclue. Now, do not miss out the dot. Very important. And then if you're uh, a decent human being, we'll get Skyping and we'll get talking. We had to watch some of the youngsters language-wise because we don't allow uh, bad language on the program. We don't allow it because we are guests in people's houses. So there you are. Let us know where you're watching. If you're watching Scotty McClue, if you're uh, in another part of the world and you're thinking, what on earth is this? Who is this guy? Then it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster just for you, popping up live on the world's top broadcast platform, Facebook Live. 
Um, who have we got? I know how you feel, Scotty. Where do the years go, says George, as my wee mammy used to say. And George, do you not remember we kind of ripped the mince out of older people a bit? You know, just on the fly, we say, ha ha, look at him. There's the long John Silver with his leg. And, all, and then you think, oh, and what have you. And I remember people saying that because we apparently, um, you know, life just passes in a flash with grains of sand on the beach, George, and life passes in a flash. But be very, very, very aware at the moment. There's a lot of media trying to make you feel down trying to make you feel sad, trying to make you feel depressed, trying to make you hate somebody. Never, ever, 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 ever hate anything. If you hate something, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. So never hate anything. Never shut off an avenue of learning. And remember, the world is a wonderful wonderful place. You've got Scotty McClure in it, for goodness sake. Broadcasting at its very finest. Television at its very finest. I did tell you I rang up uh, one of the head hodgers at a television station down south, and I said, do you want to take the Scotty McClure show at night on television? He went, no. And I said, why not? He said, because you've got a Scottish accent, to be quite blunt. I thought, away you go. What a piece of nonsense, as if there aren't a lot of Scots down south. And of course, most people in the world adore the Scottish accent. It's very, very prominent because they feel relaxed. They trust the Scots because we've never gone in for the class system. So there you are. Uh, Stephen Harris says, watching in Cardonald with my fiancée Claire and three-week-old baby Amber. Bless Amber, I say. Take a hold of her tiny hand and send her love from Scotty McClure. The baby's been crying all morning and has now stopped since you've been on. Dinky do, I say. I used to do that. I won't tell you how many years ago, but I used to go. So there you are. Uh, so true, media love to get you down. You cheer us up, Captain, says George. Yes, be selective in the media you're watching. Come and join me, Scotty McClure, because you'll get the truth. You'll get informed. You'll get educated. You'll get entertained. You'll get all the things that broadcasting used to do for the people and now do for their masters. So there you go. So come on and have a chat with me, Scotty McClure. And as I say, get the funding up. Let's make this a day of funding. Get on to GoFundMe. Put in the Scotty McClure show. Stick in a pound, a fiver, 50 quid, whatever you feel you can give. And that will get that fund moving and we will look at media assets. And then you will know what you have done for the world. Well done, good and faithful servant, as the good book tells us. I serve. Ich dien. Ich dien. The motto of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, I serve. So, there you go. So, as I say, be selective in what you're watching. Also, keep an eye on social media. If you see something, check the sources just in case. It's fake news, but uh, social media, great fun. Get yourselves following Scotty McClue. Get onto Twitter, follow Scotty McClue. Can everyone on Facebook follow Scotty McClue? And also check out all the Scotty McClue pages. There's a um, um, public fan page with, uh, I think it's 5,000 uh, of you on there. And also join us. Join us at the um, Scotty McClue Scotty McGlue, listen to me, Scotty McClue fans group, the fans group on there. Tremendous stuff. And remember, Scotty McClue is incredibly popular throughout the world. We have billions of fans across the planet. So there you go. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your F's or your T-H's. Excellent stuff. And uh, share this video. Uh, upload it to any platforms you've got. If you've got a Reddit account as well, of course, go on and post it in videos. 
Um, and uh, do that with any of the videos at uh, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Put that into your search bar. Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. So there we are. Right. It's time I was away. It is 12 o'clock midday. It is high noon. The sun is at its meridian. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to all of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Join us tonight at 10 o'clock sharp. And until then, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A winter zen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Tara loves, love you lots. Scotty McClure has left the building. Dinky doo.